Hey guys, Ross Chan here. Welcome to another episode of Ross Draws, and we have my friend Josh here, who happens to be a professional Smash player. <laughs> See if I can whoop his ass today, and the loser has to buy the other person in and outs. Let's do this. Let's do this. So much to do pop. So good. Animal style. Thanks, dude. Oh. Mm. You know what? I forgot a drink. <laughs> so good. No, no, no. You, you have to win to get the prize. You, you didn't win. I paid for that. I, I know. Good, good. You suck. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, it's like, it's just like. <laughs> that was my fault. That was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, that was fun, you know, getting my ass kicked by a professional Smash player. That's something I've always wanted to experience, so uh, cross it out of my bucket list. I kind of want a pinup form, you know, showing that, that powerful beam and uh, hair flowing in the wind. I fulfilled my end of the deal, and I got him... In and out! Yes, delicious In and out. One of my favorite food in the world. Let's see what we come up with. Yeah. Now I understand why uh, Josh is so happy and excited to be down there. The view is great, but I think Samus would be offended. So I am going to uh, work on it and I'll check back soon. Hey Josh, how's it going? Happy as ever, and we know why. And I want to dedicate this episode to talk about color. It plays a such an important role to our lives. Red is an emotionally intense color. Color of blood and fire. War, danger, strength, power, energy, and also love. It increases metabolism, respiration rate, and raises blood pressure. Red has a very high visibility. That's why stop signs and stop lights are red, you know, for you to tell you stop, you know, look out. <laughs> also, red is used to indicate courage. That's why a lot of flags have red in it. And also, red is used to evoke very sensual, erotic feelings. So next time you're thinking about using red, think about what it represents and think about how you can use it effectively within your image. Yeah, so I am going to jump back on it and I'll check back soon. This is the progress of Samus so far. I think it's looking pretty cool. What do you think, Frank? Awesome! We're gonna let him enjoy being down there just a little longer. He deserves it. I wanna tell you about orange and blue. They are complementary color, which means they are directly opposite on the color wheel. Probably the most prestigious and often used color combination in the film. Blue is very calming. That's why water purifier commercial have like a very kind of bluish calming essence to him, you know? No girl drinking water. Blue symbolizes like trust, you know, loyalty. The contrast between them creates emotion that's very stimulating for us. So I hope you liked the little introduction about color. I'm gonna talk more about it in my future episodes. Wrap this up, finalize it, and I'll check back soon. It's color dodge time. Awesome, here we go. Here we go. Ah! It's time to play. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah.
I hope you enjoyed that, and a quick sorry for anyone that got a seizure by watching that. Shout out to my friend Josh, uh, aka Zell, for helping me craft this episode. If you're interested in the extended video tutorial, I talk more about how I render the form, you know, the face, material, the metal. Also, I recorded some sketches for you guys, so if you're interested in all that, come check out our Patreon. And this episode's question is, if you could have another life in an alternate universe, what would you be doing? Would you be battling aliens, have an army of 400 cats? Maybe you would be Milo. I don't know. Give me your answer in the comments below and we will choose a lucky subscriber for a print. If you like something you see, please subscribe and remember, every day is a color dodge day. Finish! Oh, I'm so dizzy.